but this is a quick video to show you how to make today's pasta car. Tomorrow you will get to be an engineer and make whatever version you want, but today we're going to make this. So the first thing that you need is you need one piece of spaghetti that you then break into two pieces. The pieces need to be long enough so that it goes longer than the width of this piece of lasagna noodle. You need a piece of lasagna noodle that's about maybe three or four inches long. You need four of these little wheels so that these are what are going to spin. And then you also need four of these smaller little uh, wheel guys which are going to act as your bearings for your pasta, your spaghetti axles. So first things first, you will make sure that the lasagna noodle, which if you see on the side, one side is less, the ridges go high, higher and then one side they go lower. So you need to make the high ridge side, make sure that goes down. Now you're going to take one of your wheels and you're going to put a glob of hot glue and yes it is hot so be careful. In the middle you're going to take your spaghetti noodle, you're going to put it through and then put a little bit of extra glue around the axle to make sure that stays on. Then you're going to slide two of these little, what I'm calling, bearings on there onto your axle of your spaghetti noodle. And then you're going to place some another spot of glue on your other wheel. Make sure you don't get it on the edges, otherwise it's going to slow down your wheel. And put that on, and then again put some glue on the side. Once you do that, you will make the other one as well, but I won't show you that one for now. You already saw the finished model. Make sure that these bearings, unlike I was not careful, don't get glue on them, otherwise it won't spin. The whole point is that this axle should spin on these little bearings. So these bearings are going to now be glued to the piece of lasagna. So it's your job to set it here carefully, and then you're going to put some glue. Make sure you don't get it on the spaghetti axle, but put some on either side of the little bearings and then let it cool down. Again, be very careful with the hot glue gun. Get it nice and flat. If you spread them out more, it's probably better uh, to keep your axle straight. Also make sure your axle is straight, perpendicular, and parallel to one another, and not all cattywampus, otherwise it's not gonna roll very well. So you'll do that for the other one, and then you'll get this magical car that looks like this, and then you'll be able to race it down the track.